My name is Ian Chikino. That's my Battle.net ID, not my real name, of course. And uh, today I'm bringing you a match between Cheetah Prime as our blue Protoss versus our Red Zerg Juke Jung. Just kind of like a little rhymy name. I like it. We're on Zelnaga Caverns. I think this is the map. I should know what the name of the map is. I love it. But, uh, anyways, I digress. I'm gonna 2x speed here just for a, just get past the beginning stuff. We got a quick pylon being placed um, at 10. And uh, Overlord being Overlord scouting out for the Zerg player. Second Overlord being scouted out at about 13 food. And Spawning Pool going down at 14. And a quick Forge being placed down for Cheetah Prime. In our last game on this map, uh, against a Zerg player, we saw Cheetah Prime scout the quick X or uh, lay down a quick forge and build a pylon and a one photon cannon just to delay this expo. Uh, just to delay the expo to allow a, uh, you know, give him a little bit of an advantage or at least so he hopes. Uh, you can see pretty much the similar thing is starting this game. We got a, a pylon down, uh, no units made yet. And uh, and a, there's a Photon Cannon, which would be in range of a Expo if, if the Juke Jung so decides to place it. Harvesting some gas, building a queen. Any lings? Yes, two lings in production. Building a Photon Cannon at his front door to, of course, protect him against any Zergling run, run buys. Chasing off that little that little pesky drone, uh, saying, "Get out of my base!" Cheetah Prime puts down a gateway. Uh, chrono boosting, spinning his chrono boost on his probes. Uh, still no gas yet, not really required. He doesn't even have a cybernetic score up yet. Waiting around, probably going to build a another gateway or maybe a cybernetic score. Pretty good on food. No need for pylons yet. Duke Dejung placing his overlord just out of sight of this, uh, this, oh, does he see that? Yes, he does see it at this point. He knows there is a photon cannon there and a pylon, so he knows you won't be exploring there anytime soon. Throwing down an extra hatchery in his base, as opposed to a, uh, in a, a second hatchery next to a mineral line. Uh, we might be seeing a lot of uh, mass lings here in an attempt to uh, break down that front door. We have two geysers. Uh, two geysers being saturated, extractors on them. Queen doing her job of spawning that larva. Back here in Check Prime's base, we've got two gateways, Cybernetic Score coming in, and two zealots just for uh, some. Uh, Bouncer duty, I guess you could call it. You know, they're the guys, the big guys at the door who keep uh, the unwanted out. Third gateway popping up. Juke to Jung getting a bird's eye view of all this stuff. And Cheetah Prime finally getting his assimilators up and getting them saturated. Still chrono boosting workers. And another pylon just trying to make it as tight as possible, forcing a single entrance for uh, those uh, links to deal with at this point. And good server lords vomiting some creep all over the place. Looks like we're actually seeing uh, hydralisks out of him. He's using this uh, extra larva uh, to make uh, some hydralisks and he's got his metabolic boost so we're probably going to be seeing maybe some ling hydra combo. Uh, hydras will be great against this uh, base build right here because the hydra will be able to outrange this photon cannon. And they will easily be able to uh, pick off these buildings without much uh, fight. Um, stalkers will be really the only chance he has to deal with any of these Hydras. Uh, zealots and uh, Sentries don't really got the chops to deal with any significant number of Hydras. Uh, when you're dealing with a fortification position, uh, it's not really easy for those Zealots just to run out and deal with Hydra and run back. Fourth gateway going down. Warp gates just now finished. Probably gonna see all those gateways turn into warp gates. Cheetah Prime running around just chasing out these Zerglings, which are speedlings now. And the Zerg player pushing out, just 
totally ignoring that expo, just dealing with a one base play here from the Zerg player. Uh, he's going to try and break this front door with a couple speedlings. And uh, let's see, he's got about six, seven speedlings. And uh, actually, more speedlings coming up. Good number of Hydras. DC, uh, Jutsu Jung is doing a really good job of keeping that army separated. Those Hydras is dealing crazy amounts of damage. He just destroyed uh, the majority of Cheetah Prime's army with that fight. These Hydras are dealing some serious damage. Actually, I think he just canceled uh, a hatch, uh, not a hatchery, a Nexus there. Cheetah Prime quickly trying to warp in as many stalkers as he can. These Hydras are uh, being unchallenged, just slowly taking their time, slowly whittling away these outside buildings. Uh, you can see he purposely pulled away these three Hydras here because they were in range of this Photon Cannon. Now he's pushing up, focusing directly on that one Photon Cannon. One Hydra just goes, goes down. These uh, Zealots here, or uh, Ling, Speedlings here at the top are just doing some good work, picking off some pylons, doing some damage, pulling away. I don't want to lose too many extra units. Three, three more gateways being warped in. He's now got an unpowered Twilight Council. He's going to have five gateways. Probably only three of these two are probably going to die. Back at the Zerg base, we can see a Spire being produced. Uh, Groove Spines upgrade coming. A few more drones. Still no Expo. Got a nice Creep Highway going here with just the Overlord Goo. He's going to lose the Cybernetics Core, which uh, is going to be a problem, but he's thought ahead and has already started building a new one. Warping in those gateways into uh, warp gates. Uh, right now, Cheetah Prime has got his back against the wall here. The Cirque player has got him completely contained with these Hydras uh, and these Speedlings. Cheetah Prime, uh, looking out, he sees just the Hydras. There's some nice force fields and just is really, uh, without too many losses here, is just killing these Hydras. Needs to push out a little bit sooner there to get those zealots out a little bit faster. Uh, and he destroys the contain. Um, Duke Jung deciding to split his army up to get rid of this, to clear out his expo. Uh, to clear out his expo, but which really doesn't seem to be all that important because he expoed up here. Um, that may come to bite him in the end because he just lost about seven Hydra to. For, for for not much gain here. Uh, probably would have been better to pull the Hydra back and the Lynx and kill that Expo. It was probably just a little bit of Miss Micro. Oh, here we go. Gumming in. Uh, force, two good force fields. Uh, picking off the whole outside armor. Everything outside these force fields is going to die. He may even get in there. Force fields fall down. Is he, is he going to break in and deal some serious damage? The Lynx numbers are diminishing. We're seeing only Stalkers being worked at this point. Some nice Blink Micro. Oh, very nice. Blinking the weak ones back, the strong ones forward when they run away. Uh, Army-wise, we've got a food count of Blue in the lead at this point. Uh, just barely. Muta Harass coming in, trying to pick off some workers, but Blink Stalker is a great response to these Mutalisks. They can just blink in right underneath the Muta, do some great focus fire, pick off those Mutas. I'm not really quite sure uh, why he went the Mutas. Uh, at the point, earlier, whenever he was building them, um, Cheetah Prime wasn't going all Stalkers. So I guess whenever he was going Zealot, Sentry, Stalker, it was a little bit better uh, just to harass with. But now we see a quite a few Roaches coming in, 12 Roaches coming in. We got uh, five Mutas running around trying to harass. It looks like... Uh, Oh, blink, nice blink, cutting off those mutas. A little bit of a mistake there for Juke to Jung. Losing another muta here, a little bit of a mistake, and blinking away before he loses any actual life damage. Uh, Juke to Jung now not making any more mutas, which is the smart thing to do because, uh, you know, mutas are a terrible response to stalkers at these numbers. Uh, roaches do fairly well against stalkers on creep and with the speed upgrade. Uh, which he does not have yet. He's researching that speed upgrade right now. These stalkers have uh, no upgrades yet. Any upgrades for the Zerg player? No, we do not see any upgrades. Uh, we had one Overlord die there. Uh, these stalkers are just, at this moment, they have uh, the speed advantage on and off the creep, I think, uh, until these roaches do get their speed upgrade. 
Ling's coming in, uh, Roach is coming in, uh, just chasing these uh, Stalkers away, but the Stalkers are doing some great shoot and run. Nice blink after they uh, overextend too far, then blinking back into the Roaches as they run away. This, this solely Stalker force is, oh, very nice, more nice blinks. There you go. This, these losing, these lost almost his entire army here. We've had a huge switch in uh, army composition for Juke to Jung, and uh, as far as army count wise, uh, army goes, he's uh, even at a little bit more of a disadvantage than he was earlier. We got some lings up here at the top trying to do run bys by these, uh, probably get some scouting information. We have those two meters still alive, just to do some nice blinks just to kill everything he can. Forced to rebuild his army, uh, he, as far as worker goes, let's count. He still has not had a chance to drone. Um, Blue up here keeping the pressure with these stalkers and just scouting all over the place. Finds this expo, kills it with some great focus fire. Blinks away, does not want to die to those little breathings. Those things, I can speak from experience, are annoying. Are annoying. Uh, letting these drones get away, uh, he probably should chase them. You know, get those drone kills because there's like uh, seven or eight drones there. Cheetah Prime pushing up. Killing that little uh, Ling there on that Zelnaga Tower for Vision. Juke to Jung going with a Roach and a Ling Force, mostly Ling Force at this moment, but uh, I think everybody can agree that Cheetah Prime has a superior force. Uh, doing some sh turning and shooting, turning and shooting. Those, uh, those more nice backing up and blinking, backing up and blinking, Black blinking in chunks in front of his army, forcing those Lings just to keep running at him. The amount of focus fire uh, those soccers have is tremendous. Uh, you can see at this point the number of Zerglings at the start of this fight was quite high, probably 20 or 30 of them at least, and now you can see it's down to nil, and the stalker force has probably only been cut in half. Uh, the Roach army uh, pretty much left untouched. I think he may have lost one or two. Blue uh, Cheetah Prime going back in here. Just to look to see if any expo is being rebuilt, he doesn't find anything. Uh, income wise, blue is uh, completely broke actually. He is mining, he's long distance mining from his main and he is still spending all of his resources on stalkers. At this point in the game, uh, he knows that Juke to Junk is also on one base. So this is coming down to a war of attrition. Uh, who will be the most efficient with the resources they have from that one base, and will they be able to slowly harvest anything else? Great, this is just like dead links all over the place. Dead roach, three dead links. Here we go. A lot more links coming and try to get us around, but a surround against uh, blink stalkers is really only, you know, effective for a few seconds until the the cooldown finishes. Just doing some great killing every time those stalkers stop, turn around and shoot. They kill two two to five lings and uh, in the long run uh, the sh these uh, stalkers may lose shield damage but they don't really lose that much life damage compared to uh, these uh, speedlings just picking off more and more uh, lings, two more die right there Cheetah Prime doing a great job of trying to chase down those speedlings blinking up there killing one more and of course uh, in this type of gameplay every single unit matters uh, Juke to Jung running up here trying to get some nice probe kills. Uh, it looks like uh, Cheetah Prime is holding that ramp with those probes, just keeping away. Juke to Jung is saying, I'm done with this. I am not going to fight those stalkers. Goes the long way around. Cheetah Prime trying to cut him off with the pass down here. Uh, will he catch him? Will he get him with the blink? Doesn't look like it. Those speed links are just too fast. Up here, it looks like we're going to see another fight. Once again, we get the roaches coming in the back, uh, trying to deal some damage with those roaches uh, with their short range and uh, speed uh, differential compared to those stalkers. They just aren't getting in enough hits. And the only thing really dealing damage to this army are these uh, speedlings, but you can see these stalkers are not dying in any respect whatsoever. You just lost all of the speedlings with very little results. These roaches are just going to die in this retreat. The blink up focus fire will instantly kill one of those roaches. Juke Jung turning around, trying to have a oh, his last chance to kill anything, and Cheetah Prime just kind of playing with him, blinking groups of the uh, stalkers away, 
Jupe Junk says GG, and that is it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this interesting game, and uh, I've got more to come.